fighting among lions is not uncommon. Male lions often fight each other for territory and females, often to the death. If the invading males are successful in killing or subduing the alpha males of the pride, the first thing they do is kill off all the cubs in the pride. They do this for two reasons. Firstly, they wish to destroy the existing gene pool of the loser's offspring and secondly, the lionesses will come into estrus much sooner without cubs to wean. Several lionesses together will also attack a single, unknown male for the same reason. They fear he intends to kill their cubs. Several male lions together will have no qualms about killing a single lioness if they perceive her to be competition for food, particularly if she's not in estrus. The intricacies of life in a pride of lions are complicated and often brutal. Young males are chased out of their pride as soon as they begin to be sexually mature, around two years of age. These bewildered teens head out into the unknown, often falling victim to alpha males in other territories, getting caught in snares if they venture near human settlements or getting fatally injured when hunting for prey. It's no surprise that most prides of lion have far more adult females than males. Most of the females remain in the pride and most are related in some way, sisters, aunts, cousins. The odds of survival for a male lion are very slim. If it is a male lion who has been ousted from his pride, then it will be a most undignified end for the king of the beasts. He will have lost his territory and his cubs will all have been killed by the invaders. His females will become the property of the males taking over. He will most likely have been injured and will be forced to live as a nomad. If he cannot recover from his injuries quickly he will most likely fall victim to hyenas. Adult males that are fortunate enough to achieve residency within a pride hold tenure for an average of two years, often leaving due to eviction by another coalition of males. Larger coalitions are stronger than smaller coalitions. Thus, they are better able to take over access to females and maintain access to females for longer. Therefore, young males living in a land of large coalitions will have greater genetic success if they can form or join a large coalition. That alone, is the reason why people always speak of the harsh way male lions live in the wild. Some have a very limited amount of time, to perform all their duties and actions, before falling victim to stronger males in the area. I hope you enjoyed this inside view, into the lives of our lions. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Have a great day.